Hey everyone and welcome to Nora's Cove. Today you guys we will be doing our monthly budget. Um, for the month of December I am a little late but better late than never. Nonetheless let's hop right into our monthly budget. Okay so this will be for the month of December. I just highlighted that there. Um, Guesstimating $3,200 for the month, but I'll start with hair. $3,200. Um, Shopify, I don't anticipate anything for Shopify, but I am going to be uh, making an announcement probably in my Facebook group um, and also on my Norris Cove Instagram of what I'm going to be doing going forward for 2022. And then for nails, um, if we're doing about, I'd say 60 a week, let's just leave it at 60, uh, $240. And I'll put miscellaneous, but I don't see anything. Um, now, normally I get gifts for Christmas which from my customers, which are like tips, but I basically use that to pay for um, bills or Christmas gifts. That's how I've been doing it. Um, this will probably be my last year doing it because um, I was doing so well saving my tips in 2021. So um, I'll just do 200 here. Just never know. So let's do a little calculating. I really don't want to count that though, but let's calculate. So I have the total being 36.40. So that's what we're anticipating for the month of December. Also, if you're new here, I pretty much start out with the most important things that are important to me. So on the 11th, we have car note number one. And that's 181.60. On the 20th, we have car note number two. Again, that's 181.60. And then on the 20th, again, we have a loan through the credit union, and that is $96.11. Okay. And then T-Mobile. My God. It's due like on the 20th or 21st, but I got some arrangements going on with that. So this month, I believe I'm at like $500 with them. And I don't know, I've tried, like I've paid off my phone. Uh, my daughter has a new phone. She still has a balance on her phone. Um, I've tried to like get rid of some things like just unnecessary, but it's just, I always forget to pay this bill y'all. I don't know why. And so, but my bill roughly is about two something a month, but I just forget doubles and that is that. Um, Barclays, we have that on the 18th. That is a credit card. I am over my balance. It includes interest, and I try to give them a hundred, if not more. Um, next up, we have Citibank. They too are over their limit. Limit um, again, interest kicked in. Uh, let's see. I've been giving them. I think they're at like I'm gonna do fifty here. They may be less. Uh, Amazon. Amazon is doing the first. Which was been which has been paid, and that is thirteen dollars and seventy seven cent. I no longer have cloth and paper that normally would fall around my first of the month things. Um, I no longer have Lane Bryant. I paid that credit card off. I did pay off Victoria's Secrets. So now I have Ulta. Um, I'm looking at an old August monthly. So that's why I'm bringing up the old things, but. Um, Ulta, $35 that's been paid. Walmart, I know it's like $28. We have Credit One, that's not on this one, and I think I did 30 there, and that's due like on the 4th. Um, Canva is due on the 7th, 
that'll be coming out this week and that is $13.77 and I'm gonna keep it <sighs> but I'm not really using Canva like that anymore next up I have Insta Ink I believe Insta Ink comes out on the 15th and that's $19.99 Apple so here's the thing with Apple like a bill just came out like on the 4th um I don't know why they break it up to three dollars and 49 cents so it's two payments of 349 so let's say seven dollars and then i think i paid 2.99 um for storage so that's i'll just put it at about 12 dollars because i actually need to get some more storage um booth rent i'm gonna have to normally it's eight so i think it should be nine hundred dollars but let me double check um 25 times four yeah nine hundred dollars for my booth rent it has gone up i used to pay eight a month it's not a month um wayfair now with wayfair i really want to pay this down because um this will include interest i paid attention this time it will include interest um starting january 25th and I think I have a balance of like $375. So being that it is the holiday season, I'm going to give them $75. Try to get that balance paid off. Um, Shopify. Shopify has come in. My due date is the 8th, but they just take it out whenever they want to. And I really don't appreciate that about Shopify. Um, that came out this morning. And because I have not sold anything... I did have one shipment on there. It was like $34.73. So that's what I have so far. Let me double check to see if there's anything that I'm missing. Y'all, I forgot car insurance. Car insurance is 206. Sometimes it's 213. It's 206. Okay, Capital One. Gosh, I forgot them. Did I put them down? Capital One. I know they're doing the 15th. Car insurance is doing the 28th. And Capital One, I want to give them 50 this month. I've already sent them like 20. Um, I sent that to them today. So let's do some totaling. So my total comes out to $2,527.57. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something and I say that all the time, but I am like over it at this point. <laughs> I really am. I'm tired of paying bills. It's like, it's, it appears there's nothing left, but... What I do want to do, I do want to get back into my cash envelope stuffing. I think the only thing that I will stuff for the month of December would probably be my savings. Um, I want to do 50. And then my emergency fund because... Um, there are some things that I am looking forward to getting to do or looking forward to doing in 2022 and an emergency fund. I'm going to start with 50 with them because I do want to get that up to a thousand. I'm not worried about the cash envelopes right now. Y'all, I'm just out here trying to make it okay. And for those who are new, um, I used to try to zero base my budget. I can do it on paper, but it's just really not logical for me to zero base my budget. It's just not going to happen because I am self-employed. So we're going to take this two fifty-two, um, excuse me, two thousand five hundred twenty-seven dollars and fifty-seven cent, and we're going to subtract it from the thirty-six forty. 
and that leaves me with $1,112.43. So I'm going to move that up here. Okay, so we should have that left over, and then when we take that hundred dollars that's basically a hundred from it that should leave us with um one thousand twelve dollars and 43 cents like i said i'm not trying to put in any cash envelopes at the moment what is left is probably what i'll spend on christmas and my basic needs like um, my miscellaneous items you know things for the house things like that and then starting in january i will be back to cash stuffing because i do have some financial goals that i'm trying to reach in 2022 so let's pop this in Got a whole, and i'm gonna clean this out <laughs> i'm gonna clean out this planner i still haven't put this planner together for y'all but it just works for me like this like i i can kind of find everything um so yeah so what i'll do i'll go in and i'll put everything on its date off camera and um that way i don't hold you guys up but i do appreciate you guys stopping by if today is your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more content like this for myself, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell so that you are notified when I do upload content and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!